Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our daily devotion for Friday, November 19th, as we continue to explore the one another's of Scripture. And today we have a one another that was really kind of central to the way Jesus lived his life and central to the way that he just interacted with everybody. Well, as we think about it, all these one another's have reflected Christ, haven't they? The way he loves, the way he teaches, the way he forgives, the way he, he has patience. Today is no different. Today we are looking at honoring one another. And, I, and I'll start with our, our Bible passages. Our first passage today comes from Romans 12, beginning at verse 3. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not have all, all the same functions, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Our second reading comes from the Gospel of Luke. Uh, chapter 14, beginning at verse 11. Beginning at verse 7, I am sorry. Now he told a parable about those who were invited. When he noticed how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, When you are invited to by someone to a wedding feast, do not sit in a place of honor, lest someone more distinguished than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come to you and say, Give your place to this person, and then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Humble, humility, that goes hand in hand with honoring one another. Because you see, it's very hard to honor someone else when you think you're better than everybody else. It's hard to serve other people when you're so focused on yourself and what you want and what you need. The, the biggest thing about Jesus being a servant was he was smarter than us, he was more powerful than us, he was definitely more godly than us, and yet he humbled himself. He humbled himself so he could lift us up. He was lifted up on the cross so that we may be lifted out of sin. And the example he gives to us about being humble has both a practical aspect and a witnessing aspect. Now, I've been called to a couple congregations, and generally as a DC, when you're first called, the expectations are pretty low. And generally, when a new pastor comes to a congregation, the congregation thinks he's all that. Well, I, I was once called to a congregation shortly after a new senior pastor arrived, and, and the congregation thought the new pastor was all that, and I was down where I normally was. You know, folks didn't have really high expectations because they really didn't understand the ministry I did. Well, over time, because of the ministry I did, people's respect for me increased. And I went from not a lot of respect to having some respect. Well, over the same period of time, as the senior pastor was a human being with all his blessings and flaws, the respect of the congregation had from him went from, we are so grateful, we are so thankful, we finally have a pastor, he can do no wrong, to, eh, he's got, he's got some rough spots. Now, he was still honored and respected well above me. And I'm okay with that, because he was a senior pastor and he needed that honor. He, he was to have that respect. But he had been brought down, and I had been brought up. It always feels a lot more positive when somebody says, Oh no, move up here to a better place. It's affirming to us. It's positive to us. So as we're being encouraged by the scripture to be humble, we're also encouraged to honor one another. 
because we all know how it feels when somebody speaks honorable words about us. When people say, oh, they're a hard worker, or they're so kind, or they're so smart, or they're so thoughtful. We all like to be honored. And when people honor us, they build us up. Much like we're built up when people love us, we're built up when people forgive us, when people teach us, we're also built up when people show us honor, when people lift us up. Now, we don't want to lift anybody up above God, but that's not what Scripture is saying here. Scripture is saying we care for each other and we show that honor and respect. Early on in ministry, we there were these things and, and they were intended they were activities intended to give youth the opportunity to honor each other. They were called affirmation exercises. And and one of truly my least favorite things because I I've never seen it actually work. Um Everybody was supposed to put a paper, piece of paper on their back with their name on it. And everybody else in the room was supposed to write something positive about that person on the back. Now, in theory, this sounds like a really good idea. But if you don't know each other really well or youth aren't really comfortable expressing things like that, what gets written on people's back it isn't really, it doesn't really make them feel great. It's not really honoring them. Because it's forced. Because it's not natural. Now we do something along those lines at the end of our major trips, but it's one person that you have spent a great deal of time with talking and with them listening to you. And when ta they take the time to see how they've seen God work through you, and when they point out some really cool things about you and your personality, it really makes you feel positive. But we don't go on mission trips every single week. We, we don't have those experiences all the time. So how can we honor someone? Well, I will give you one of the best ways to honor someone. One of the best ways to show someone that they matter. Pay attention when they talk to you. Wait till they're done talking before you reply. And when you reply, Ask some questions about what they just said. Don't make the conversation always about you. Honor them. Honor their story. Honor what they want to tell you. And one of the best ways to do that is to pay attention to them while they're talking. Listen. And when you do speak, ask questions about what they've said. It's amazing how great people feel when other people are paying attention. That's one of the best ways we can honor one another. Yes, we listen to their opinions. Yes, we allow them to express their opinions. You see, honoring people doesn't mean we always agree with them, but honoring people does mean we take the time to listen. We take the time to understand what their perspective is. Do we wear masks or not? I, I'm not going to take a stand either way with regards to the church, but what I will say is, are you honoring the people who have a different opinion than you? Because if you aren't, you need to evaluate yourself. Vaccination or no vaccination, once again, that's a personal choice, no, no matter what our politicians are saying about it. And we as Christians need to honor one another even if we disagree with one another. You see, as we're called to live with one another, we're called to honor one another. Not to give in, but to give people the simple courtesy of respecting and listening to them and not judging them because they don't agree with us. I love how Paul starts his discussion about honoring. I urge you, brothers and sisters, not to think more highly of yourself than you ought. Man, I should have that uh, printed on every t-shirt that I wear. Because that's a reminder that me, as a sinful, broken child of God, needs, needs to be given on a daily basis. Don't think of yourself more highly than you ought. Yeah, I'm a precious child of God, but I'm a sinner like everybody else. And I need to show respect, courtesy, and honor to everybody I come in contact with.
so that through the way I treat them, they may experience the love of Christ. And that's what it always comes back to. How does showing this honor to one another help people know Jesus Christ more fully? Let's wrap this up with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here. We thank you for all the gifts and abilities you've given us. We would ask you to work your Holy Spirit into our hearts so that we don't think more highly of ourselves than we ought. And we can show honor, respect, and courtesy to our fellow man so that within this body of Christ, we can show your love and how we treat one another. In your son's precious name we pray. Amen. Now it's Friday. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I know it's not a normal work day with normal routine, but I hope you can join us tomorrow morning or anytime tomorrow actually for our Saturday bonus devotion as we wrap up this week of the one another's in scripture. See you later. Bye.